Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. I have a post review for you today of the awesome Plague Doctor um, from Diamond Art Club and the artist is my fave, Christopher Lavelle. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Um, let's see, I started this canvas September 1st and I finished it on October the 16th. Um, I have it in my log book. Uh, this was for the event Drills and Chills. Um, pardon my cats if you hear them in the background. They're running around like crazy people. Um, but yes, I did this canvas for Drills and Chills, which is hosted by the beautiful uh, Diamonds and Washi, as well as Tiny Worlds of Wonder. Um, an annual event that's awesome. It's Halloween, you know, fall related. Um, so I figured this was an awesome canvas to do for that event. So I want to thank Katie and Jessica for hosting the event again this year. I always look forward to uh, Drills and Chills because my dark side can come out and I can do something a little bit outside of the ordinary. Some, you know, scary things. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so this is... Um, Play Doctor by Christopher Lavelle. It is a 22 by 31 inch, which equates to a 55.8 centimeter by 78.7 centimeter round drill cut, which this is very rare for a Christopher Lavelle um, kit from Diamond Art Club to be in rounds. Um, most of the kits are in square drills because, you know, the amount of detail in these canvases the square drills really make the detail pop. Um, however, this canvas is very special to me. Um, I spoke with Randy, uh, you can call me Butter, who has a phenomenal service, uh, bling the damn thing, and I will have her information in the description down below. So if you wanna bling out a canvas, I highly recommend contacting Randy. So I contacted her and showed her this canvas and said I really wanna do something different with this canvas and bling it up. Um, it's such an unusual diamond painting and I just, I want it to be different. So I am not going to show you everything that um, got blinged up. I think you're going to, I'll show you the areas, but I'm not going to tell you what I used because I feel like that's going to take away from Randy's service. Um, so anyway, um, yes, there were 19 colors in this kit and I used my Elizabeth Ward, um, 45 piece um, container. There was, let's see, with the kit, there came two ABs. So there was a white AB. Y'all probably can't see that, but it was a white AB. And, all right, camera. <laughs> and there was an orange AB. I know. Hard to see. I've got the I've got the camera way up high, um, so y'all stop fighting. <laughs> Every time I turn the camera on, they want to fight. So this was perfect because um, you know it only had 19 colors. It didn't have a lot of colors, so I could use uh, my Elizabeth Ward 45 piece container for that. However, I replaced a lot of different colors in this canvas. Y'all, stop. <laughs> Every time. Okay. So, uh, I replaced the goggle area. And I'm going to zoom in on it in a little bit. The rivets in the mask and the buckle up here. This whole shoulder tassel I replaced with sparklers. Um, same with his necklace right here. This is all sparklers. The end of his paintbrush the red and the bird, all the red and orange on his hand, the chain coming down, um, I replaced with sparklers, the buckle on his sleeve, um, there's some rivets in his sleeve, and then I'm gonna move this down so you can see. Um, now in his coat, there were a lot of like 
white speckles in his coat and I went ahead and replaced that's just shine right there that's all black all of this is 310 I replaced the entire jacket ex from like here down with all black um, that was Randy's suggestion um, I, I think that looks really good but I did replace sparklers on the buttons down here um, I also replaced uh, the background on the left side with some sparklers. So, um, yes, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this canvas. However, I will say, I know this canvas doesn't look like there are a lot of colors. However, it is super confetti heavy. Um, lots of different shades of beige and mauve and white and cream in here. Um, lots of different shades of gray um, of course, the 310, um, browns, all kinds of browns. So there was a lot of confetti in this. And, I, you know, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I got frustrated with this canvas just because of the monotone colors. Um, it it kind of brought me down, to, to be honest with you. Don't get me wrong. This is completely me. I just, I got bored with it, I guess you could say, with the colors. Um I really enjoyed doing the the bright sparkler colors over here on the bird and the hand and the paintbrush um, but the colors themselves kind of got me down so I had to switch out here and there between this canvas and I'm working on craftably um, Kieran and Bacanaco which has a lot of colors in it as well as a TSA canvas that has a lot of colors so um, that's part of the reason why it took me so long to finish the other reason is real life I mean I had all kinds of stuff going on in the house. I still do. Um, I just, I can't finish a diamond painting quickly uh, due to real life. But it's okay because there's no rush. We do this because we enjoy it. So, okay. So I am going to zoom in and show you. Um, but first, let me just kind of, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the sparkle on this thing is just amazing amazing I mean holy cow look at the sparklers and the goggles and in his shoulder piece look at that holy cow look at that oh my gosh oh, just absolutely love it okay so I'm gonna zoom in here hopefully my camera isn't going to freak out okay so if I can do this. So like I said, the background, believe it or not, the background had lots of confetti. I don't know how much you guys can see that. Lots of confetti, lots of different colors. And then in his helmet, look at those goggles. Woo! Love it. This thing is so shiny, y'all. When I showed it to Adam, when I finished, he was like, holy cow. It's all. All right, look, look at those tassels. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And the bird. Y'all. There's his necklace. They got blinged out. All right, now, the chain. The chain was also blinged out. So, yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> um, I used, um, oh my gosh, the washi tape I used. Simply Gilded, yes, Simply Gilded um, around the outside. I also used it to section off the canvas. I've been really enjoying using um, the washi tape to section off the canvas. So, yeah, so this is Play Doctor. Um, I had no problem seeing the uh, drill field, it was very clear. Um, I had plenty, as you can see, I had plenty of drills left over, but that's also because I replaced a lot of drills. Um, I'm going to show you the trash drills. I had very little trash drills. Come on now. Very, very small amount of trash. So that was, that was it. That was all I had, and they were just some, you know, drills that weren't, you know, the right size, the right shape, whatever. Had a little bit of, like, long pieces in it, but 
not a lot of trash at all for a painting of this size that's awesome um yeah the canvas was very sticky i didn't have any issues with the canvas not being sticky or any drills coming off um, the scalloped edges really help with um, new fraying so really enjoy this and as a lot of you know if you follow my channel i am a huge fan of christopher lavelle and i will be purchasing any kit that comes out by him. I'm trying to collect all of them. Um, I do have some to show you as well. Yes, eventually. <laughs> but yes, um, this is just an awesome, awesome diamond painting. And I wish, I really wish that more, that more diamond painting companies would offer some dark fantasy art like this. Um, a lot of times what I'm seeing, there are fantasy options However, they're cutesy things. Um, I like the more, you know, dark fantasy type things um, and canvases, as well as, you know, regular fantasy and, and that. But I'd really like to see some more diamond painting companies offer some unusual diamond painting. Um, I think that would be awesome. So, yes, Plague Doctor, Christopher Lavelle. I'm trying to think of what else I need to tell you. I am going to frame this in a metallic, uh, not metallic, in a um, magnetic frame that I can hang um, in my office here. So, yes. So, in the comments down below, please let me know how many of you got this canvas, worked on it, what were your thoughts, good, bad, ugly, all of it. Um, like I said, I am thrilled that I finished this canvas. I think it looks great. I think the rendering was spot on. Um, for this image and you know I'm really looking forward to doing more Christo Christopher Lavelle cuts I'll probably space them out a little bit because most of the cuts that are offered by him um, with this dark fantasy theme they are the the monotone colors they don't have a lot of color although there is one recently that came out with a real pretty blue background with some parrots with some color um, which I did purchase so I will show that to you um, hair soon so yes so this was my drills and chills canvas plague doctor by christopher lavelle um in the comments down below let's leave a like a a skull um any kind of skull emoji um yeah but i want to again thank randy for all of your help on blinging this canvas out it was awesome seeing the canvas come to life and pop with all of the uh sparklers that you recommended um, again, I will have Randy's information down below if you want to contact her for uh, her service. Um, drills and shells, love it. This was a perfect canvas for drills and shells. So again, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me and my channel. And leave a comment. I love reading comments and I answer every single one eventually. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I hope all of you have a great, great rest of your week and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.